today, none of that will be mentioned because I'm your host. I will be your host today. I'm your host. of the environment. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to go mountain biking? Yeah. 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 Mountain biking, if you're not going to go mountain biking, you really are wasting a beautiful moment. This is, like now, becoming the mountain biking capital of the world. As a matter of fact, where's, where's, where's Tom, Tom and, uh, and Stuart Walton? Where are they at? Because Tom, they go, hey, Tom and Stuart, is it true that you guys, like, uh, named this the mountain bike capital? That's what I heard. It's it's all from you guys, right? Or is it like you guys like popularize it or something like that? But I heard it's all started and ending with you guys. You're not doing a little mountain biking myself, Tommy. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Yeah. I get on the bike, I can tear it up a little bit. Yeah. You didn't know that because I got little legs. You didn't know that, did you? I do. My mountain bike, man. Just this weekend I've just passed, me and the family, I got the kids, hit them up to the back of the mountain bike. We took them down a little trail. Put them on a little wagon, Tom. I don't know if you do that or not. I put the kids on the wagon and I, and I mountain bike. You probably out here by yourself. I had my kids on the wagon. Like a real man. You understand what I'm saying? Mountain biking with the kids on the wagon. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but if you haven't, I just want to be honest and say I do not recommend it. If you plan on walking the next day, my legs were shocked. They were shocked. <laughs> Those selfish kids, they had a good time, but they didn't have the talent. <laughs> had me out there pedaling. Um, but guys, I'm dead serious. I do recommend getting out, man. Enjoy the area. So much to do. Get outside, get some fresh air. The biking gives you a little cardio workout. It's great. Now, as much as I love biking, I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't really fuel my energy the way that four wheels do. I am a car guy. <laughs> I love you too. I'm a car guy, man. I'm talking real cars. I'm talking real muscles. Four Mustangs, Pontiac two tools. That's my type of stuff, right? Now, now, I gotta be honest. There's another thing, man. I really do feel like one of the best four wheel events of all time is a shopping cart. I'm gonna say it. It's a shopping cart. I love a good shopping cart, man. And I'm talking about a good one, a real good shopping cart. You know when you when you pull a shopping cart out randomly. You just go and you push it and it's smooth. You get a good glide. No wonky wheel, none of that wonky, shaky wheel mess. The ones that make you feel like you sick. I'm talking about a smooth ride. There's no better feeling in the world than a smooth ride. Having the opportunity to just cruise down the aisle of a Walmart or a Sands Club with no work. The Walmarts have everything, man. There's nothing that you guys do not have. Yeah. Yeah, everything. I mean, everything, man. I feel like a kid when I'm at Walmart. I really do, man. Because you, you, you look and you find things you had no idea that you wanted to meet. I, I remember, I, I'm serious. I remember I went to Walmart for like, uh, I, I don't know why. I, I had like a dozen, a dozen things of toothpaste and toilet paper. I didn't need it, but it was a sale. This is what you guys want to grow. And I just left with a bunch of shit. I was like, I just, I gotta take it. I gotta take it. I gotta get it. I have to get it. I remember being a kid, though, at Walmart, right? And when I would go, the first thing I wanted to do was like go to the toy store. Go, go to the toy aisle. I had to get there. Ask for everything you got there. Mom, ooh, can I get this? No, boy, you're not getting that. It's too close to Christmas. Well, it's July. It's actually not. It's July. That's a lie. What you're doing is lying, Mom. You would ask for everything, no matter what, it was rejected. You would wait and go until you got to the aisle. The aisle was your last chance as a kid to get anything in a Walmart. Mom, can I get the gum? It's too close to Christmas. No, it's still July. It's selfish. It's just gum, Mom. I just want to leave with something. I wanted to leave with something. But today, 
This is the crazy thing. Today, Walmart, they're a lot different than what they were then, right? Like they're not the same. Today, let me explain to you how different they are. Today, you guys have more than 10,500 stores and clubs, right? You have more than 10,500. More than, more than, like that's, that's insane how you guys have grown. Insane, you're huge. Huge Walmart, and that puts you in a very unique position. Use your size and scale to do incredible things around the world, things that everyone, regardless of where they are and what they do, well, they'll shop and enjoy. It's amazing to understand the difference that you're making, right? And that difference begins with each and every single one of you. You are amazing and social. It really does. It really does. Can I tell you something? I asked for real numbers, right? Because I said I want to get out here. I just asked for this number in real time. I want to know. I want to know the real numbers because we're talking about associates. I feel like this is a big celebration because you guys, you're on the ground. You're the real people. You're the real energy. You're the pulse. You get things done. It's you. That's why we're celebrating you. Right? That's why we're celebrating you. The total number of associates in the world. These are real numbers in real time. 2.1 million people. Well, we have 4,000 Walmart associates in house tonight. 1,000 Sam's Club. 1,000 Sam's Club. We have, have 1,200 international. By international, we're taking it. Let's celebrate our international associates in house tonight. We have international associates from Chile, from China, from Canada, from South Africa, from Mexico. so that they can live better. And guys, we're grateful. We're grateful for each and every single one of you. Right now, give me a favor, give yourselves a round of applause. Celebrate yourself. Walmart right now, what I want you to do, I want you to say hello. Say hello to the man himself, Mr. Doug McMillan. Uh,
gets to count all of those 60 years, and she's still working as an apparel associate in her store. Absolutely stunning, incredible. <laughs> We're still glad that you're here. Yes, we come from the UC. One more hand for Nancy. Kevin said a minute ago, you're the ones that make it all happen. And the second reason we want you to be here is because we hope you'll learn a little bit more about your company. Um, our company has consistent values, we have a constant purpose, but change is part of our business, isn't it? Sometimes we say the only thing that's constant at Walmart other than our purpose and values is change. change. So these days, sometimes people ask me, how do you even describe the company today given how much it's changed? We'll, we can describe it as a people-led, tech-powered, omni-channel retailer dedicated to helping people save money and live better. I love this description because it's got our purpose in it. That's what gets me up every morning. I think that's what gets up a, a lot of people in our company to try and make a difference in people's lives so that they can live better. Help them save money. Help them have, help them have a better day. So as we go through today's meeting, you're going to hear these themes, and we ask that when you go back to your store, your club, your distribution center, your fulfillment center, that you tell your fellow associates how much they're appreciated, and tell them something about your company that they might not know, okay? I'll be back up in a little while, but let's keep this thing rolling. What's up next? These rounds for our host country's national anthem, led by Alex Vaughn from store 2104 in Newburgh, New York. 